we're going to create our first lowback model. I'm going to create the product model. A persisted model with ID. Yes, I would like to save the data in this product model and it will have a unique ID. I have selected the entity. I'm going to press enter, allow additional freeform properties. You can choose no. Here I need to write the name of the property. The first property I would like to have the ID. The type of the ID is number. Yes. Is ID is the ID property? Yes. Is it required? Yes. I'm going to press enter. I don't have any default value. Now it's time to add another property. Title of the product. The type is string. Yes, it is required. I don't have any default value. I'm going to press enter. The third property, which is QTY. The type is number. Yes, it is required. I don't have any default value. You can also add the price. The type is number. Yeah, it is not required. So I'm going to press no N. I don't have any default value. I have created all these properties. If you will press the enter. Now you can see that the model has created. And you will see the product model and it has added the entry inside the index.ts. Now you will see the product model in the index.ts. You can see that we have model decorator and we have property decorator. Type is number, ID true, required. And we have title, the type is string, we have QTY. We have price, we have constructor. This question mark means it's an optional. It's an optional. You can see that the price is optional. And I believe this is an interface, the type of this partial interface, which is product. And it is going to export the product relation. And it is also going to export this type product with relation. You can learn more about this model decorator and property decorator. I have, I have downloaded the source code from the GitHub. This is the loopback next. You can find the official source code from the GitHub repository. When you open the repository, you will see the decorator. I have opened the model decorator. Here they have created the class decorator. You can see that it's a function and it is going to return the factory function. This is a class based decorator. So that's why the type is function and they are going to generate some model definition. This is the class decorator factory dot create decorator. It is going to provide the model key and the definition. And finally, they will generate the model definition. Similarly, we will have the property decorator. It is going to turn the factory function, create decorator, and this is the property decorator. 